Good morning everyone I am Cheshta and I'm here with the morning tales for June 1st 2019 the new team of prime minister narendra modi has been appointed the key ministers in the union cabinet so ministry of home affairs is with the amit shah rajnath singh got the ministry of defense nirmala sitaraman is the minister of finance s j shankar has got the external affairs ministry nitin gadkari again with the ministry of road transport and highways r s prasad law and justice Piyush Goel Railways and Smriti Irani got the Ministry of Women and Child Development. So it's time for Modi 2.0 to perform. Let's see how these ministers or how Modi 2.0 turns out to be. Let's begin with the morning tales with the first question. So what is India's rank in the IMD World Competitiveness Rankings 2019? So this is very important question. These rankings are quite important with respect to examination. So in 2018 India was at the 44th position now it has improved to one position and has been ranked at 43rd most competitive economy in the world Now three things to notice first that which is the first country next thing what is India's rank and how many countries have been ranked on this ranking So out of 63 India is at 43rd position the first position is with is singapore second is with hong kong and third with usa as per this there are approximately 235 indicators uh, to rank or uh, to rank these country on this world competitiveness rank rankings but there are four categories where they are being judged on the economic performance next category is infrastructure another one is the government efficiency and the fourth one is the business efficiency so these four are the categories on which it uh, the rankings are being calculated also if we talk about the 63rd position so venezuela is at the 63rd position that is the last country on this ranking next question is with which of the following isro has signed an mou for the crew selection and training and particularly for the gaganyaan mission So recently two MOUs have been signed by ISRO first with the Indian Air Force and next we'll discuss in the next question so Indian Air Force and ISRO have signed the MOU where they'll be selecting and training the crew for the Gaganyaan mission so this Gagan mission the Gaganyaan mission is expected to take place in 2022 and why it is important because it is India's first or India's maiden mission which is human space flight program which is scheduled for 2000 22 that's why it is very important and the crew selection and training has been started by the Indian Air Force and ISRO apart from this the human space flight center has been um, uh, established and in bangalore so this is the news in uh, which came out in january so in january uh, around 30th january they established this human space flight center in bangalore so a question might come directly for this or this is a static question that the human space flight center is located in bangalore now coming to the next question so another mou has been signed between isro and iit guwahati so isro and iit guwahati they have set up or they have come up with this proposal to set the space technology cell and it is first of its kind space technology cell in, uh, cell in north india so northeast india so this first of its kind space technology cell has would be established in guwahati therefore isro and iit guwahati they have signed an mou to set this space technology cell in guwahati so what is the purpose of this space technology cell basically to improve the research and capacity building process in the field of space technology Import two important uh, MOUs first with the IIT Guwahati and another MOU with the Indian Air Force. So remember these things. Moving on to the next question. So two countries have been removed from the currency watch list of US. Name them. Recently, two countries have been removed from this US currency watch list. But let's first discuss what exactly is US currency watch list. So the Treasury Department of US they released the semi annual report uh, on the international economic and exchange rate policies so this report highlights the currency practi- practices which are being uh, adopted by the major trading partners of US so once a country is added to this monitoring list now why would a country be added so there are three criteria on which the US judge the country if these three criteria are not met by the countries then they would be moved or they would be uh, set up under this currency watch list now once they once the country gets into this currency watch list they need to be there for at least two consecutive reports 
so these are the three parameters which are being taken care of were to consider the currency under the currency watch list first one is the good surplus with the us what is exactly the trade surplus with the us so previous threshold was 20 billion now it's the same 20 billion and india now stands at 21 billion another is the current account balance of the country so it's three percent of the gdp previous threshold but now it's new threshold with two percent of gdp net next is the net forex purchases basically the exchange reserve so two percent of gdp it's the same so only changes with the two percent of gdp with respect to the current account balance now coming to the two countries which have been recently removed so india and switzerland have been removed from the currency watch list of us but still there are new entrants to this list so apart from china japan germany and south korea so they were already on this list but now five countries are being added to this list first first one is italy ireland singapore malaysia and vietnam so these are the new entrants to the list and earlier there were China, Japan, Germany, uh, South Korea, India and Switzerland. So India and Switzerland have been removed and there are total 9 countries under the watch list of US. Moving on to the next question, so the last cut off timings for RTGS. Recently the new timings or there are revisions in the RTGS timing and RBI has extended the last cut off timings for RTGS transactions. So it's 6 pm rather than the 4.30 PM. So earlier it was, it was 4.30, now it has been extended till 6 p.m. Now coming to what exactly is RTGS. So it's real time gross settlement system. So kind of a fund transfer, fund transfer system where the uh, method is considered as fast and the minimum limit of transaction is to be 2 lakh. And RTGS as the name suggests, it's real time gross settlement that is the amount is instantly transferred from one uh, account to another. There are two other methods as well, NEFT and IMPS. So you need to tell me in the comment section below what exactly are these NEFT and IMPS. Basically, full form of NEFT and IMPS. So don't forget to mention your answer in the comment section below. Moving on to the next question. So which airport has been recently recognized as the international airport? So a new airport has been added to the India's international airport list. And it is the Devi Ahilya Bai Holkar Airport. So it has now been recognized as the international airport. As per the sub rule B of rule 3 of the passport entry into India rules 1950. So as per this now Devi Ahilya Bai Holkar Airport. Now where is this airport located? So it's in Indore. So this airport now has been recognized as the International Airport of India. Can you name the place in the comment section that where is this Lokpriya Gopinath Bordolai Airport located? So tell me in the comment section where is this Lokpriya Gopinath Bordolai Airport is located. Now it's time for you to tell me the answer. So where is the Nandankan Zoological Park located? Now the reason for this question in news or the reason for the static question here is that the India's only orangutan, so there was only one orangutan which is in the Nandan, uh, Nandangan Zoological Park and it recently died. So the only orangutan in India has died and it was located in Nandangan Zoological Park. So now you need to answer in the comment section that where is this Nandangan Zoological Park located? I hope you are preparing well for the NABARD examination. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel Anujindal for more such videos. Also, press the bell icon so that you receive the notification as and when the video is being posted. Good luck and thank you so much for watching the video.